And in this way, I'm going to show you how to use a sodium bromide product like the Biodex Knockout or the Biodex Knockout Problems Algicide. So using a sodium bromide product in your pool to treat yellow or mustard algae is known to be highly effective. The bromine in the product is known to be an algicide, so it'll kill the algae in the pool. One of the drawbacks, however, is that as it's doing the process, it'll convert some of the active chlorine in the pool to a bromine bank. And so what happens during this process, since the bromine is not protected by the cyanuric acid in the pool from the sun's UV rays, it'll burn off quickly in the pool. That's why you have to raise your free or active chlorine in your pool very high when you're using a sodium bromide product. So I'll use a test strip here in this video so you can see clearly if the pool has chlorine in here or not. You can see that the pH and alkalinity are in range. But you can see here that it has no chlorine at all in the pool. And that's probably one reason why there's yellow or mustard algae in this pool. And this pool is very large. It's about 25,000 gallons. Before I treat the yellow or mustard algae with the sodium bromide, I'm going to raise the chlorine level up in this pool. I'm going to go ahead and use two gallons of liquid chlorine and pour it in the pool here. So the pool has some mustard algae here in this corner. There's also some mustard algae here in the shallow end on the wall here. So it's not a huge outbreak of it, but it's definitely in the pool and it'll definitely bloom if you don't treat it right away. Okay, now you want to brush the affected area. I'm going to go ahead and brush the entire pool. Okay, now you're going to use 4 ounces of the Biodex for every 10,000 gallons of water. So I'm going to go ahead and put 4 ounces here in this spot. I'll put 4 ounces over there in the shallow end in that spot over there. So each cap full is 2 ounces. Then I'm going to take a gallon of liquid chlorine and pour it right over the spot where I put the sodium bromide. And here's the other area where I had the algae. And I'm also going to pour a gallon of liquid chlorine over that spot. Okay, now you want to turn on the pool and let it run as long as possible. 12 to 24 hours is ideal. And here's a look at the dosage chart of the various sanitizers you could use when you add two capfuls of the Biodex Knockout Yellow Algicide to your pool. And if you do this process and you don't have enough chlorine in your pool, What's going to happen is that the bromine bank that's created will use up all the active and free chlorine in the pool. This will cause the pool to actually get worse and have more algae. And so the next week you get there, it'll have no chlorine, plus it'll have more algae. So you want to make sure you use the proper amount of liquid chlorine when you do this process. So that's the correct process you're going to use when you're going to add any kind of sodium bromide product to your pool, like the Biodex Knockout Yellow Algicide to treat mustard or yellow algae. You want to make sure that the pH and alkalinity are balanced in the pool. Then you want to bring the chlorine level up to 5 to 10 parts per million if it's not high already. And then with every 4 ounces of the product, you want to add 1 gallon of liquid chlorine. This will ensure that the chlorine level will stay high during this whole process. You can also use the Biodex Knockout Problems Algicide for this process. The only difference is that you're going to use 6 ounces of this product versus 4 ounces of the Knockout Yellow Algicide. And you would still need to add 1 gallon of chlorine with the 6 ounces of the Biodex Knockout Problems Algicide. And the back of the bottle has these marks here for the ounces. So the initial dose to treat algae in a 10,000 gallon pool would be 6 ounces. You can also use the knockout yellow algicide in the green pool cleanup. It'll work just as well. You want to multiply the product based on how bad the pool is. This is what I would consider a stage 5 green pool. So I would use the whole 32 ounce bottle of the knockout. And then I would add 14 gallons of liquid chlorine or an equivalent chlorine shock to the pool. And so you're basically multiplying the amount of the knockout you're going to add to the pool based on the severity of the yellow algae or green algae in the pool. And then you're going to add the appropriate chlorine. Here's a pool with some yellow algae along one side of the wall. The chlorine level in this pool is fine. I'm going to go ahead and brush the yellow algae off the wall. And then I'm going to go ahead and use the knockout problems algicide to get rid of it. I'm going to go ahead and use 6 ounces of the product. And I'm going to put 1 gallon of liquid chlorine in behind me. So 
So let's look at using the Biodex Knockout Yellow Algaecide or the Knockout Problems Algaecide when you're treating yellow or mustard algae in your pool. If you follow the steps in this video, you'll have no problem ridding your pool of algae. Inyopools.com has been helping pool owners find the right pool parts in 2001. With over 50,000 pool parts in stock, order online today and have the parts delivered right to your door. Jobber is your business's command center. The easy to use app powers your sales, operations, and customer service all in one place. Check the description below to save 20% off your first six months.